cast your mind back to the beginning of the year, to the beginning of 2012, and I did a blog here at Kermit Uncut saying which movies I was most looking forward to and asking which ones you're most looking forward to. And many of you wrote in saying, Mark, I can't believe you haven't mentioned Prometheus. That's the movie we are all most looking forward to. How could you not mention it? Then, of course, Prometheus arrived. And in the course of its opening weekend, it went from being the most anticipated to the most disappointing film of the year. Loads and loads of people getting in touch saying, I hope you're including Prometheus in your worst of the year. It's such a letdown. It really disappointed me. How could a film for which I had such great expectations have let me down so badly? Now, my feeling is this, that what happened about Prometheus was partly due to the insane levels of hype which preceded its release. You remember how hard we all had to try not to see the whole movie in bits before seeing the whole movie? I remember running out of a cinema, watching a 3D movie, the trailers before it, because I had the glasses on, they started showing me a 3D trailer for Prometheus. I literally had to leave the screening room, so I didn't have Prometheus spoiled for me. Now, personally, I liked Prometheus when it came out. Many of you didn't, and I said at the time, well, look, let the dust settle. Let your expectations die down. Wait till it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray and then decide whether maybe it's, it's time to reassess the film. Well, now that time has arrived. It has indeed come out on DVD and Blu-ray. DVD, bare bones extras, Blu-ray, some extras, 3D Blu-ray, seven hours of extras. Now, let's put aside the fact that clearly the seven hours of extras have been put on the 3D Blu-ray in order to up the 3D sales. Let's, let's not even get into that. My question to you is far more simple. Have you had a chance to go back and watch Prometheus now that the caravan of promotion has left town? Did you get that special edition Blu-ray with all those extras, which promised to provide all the answers that the film didn't provide? And if so, were those answers good enough for you? Did you look at the film again in the cold light of day and think, as I do, that it's a better film than people gave it credit for? Now that we can see the film for what it is, rather than what people wanted it to be. Most importantly, has Prometheus stopped disappointing you? Or is it, in fact, exactly the same film it always was? See, my feeling is most of the disappointment was due to the hype, the expectation, the, the fact that we all had so much invested in it. I've always liked Prometheus. Many of you never did. Have you changed your mind now? Big things have small beginnings.